Today at uh, Blick here on South State Street, we're running a, an event organized by the Primate Art League. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about my history as a screen printer over the last 20, 21 years, uh, how I got into it, what kind of work we do, a little bit about my process, working for bands, making concert posters, and then we're going to actually run a print demo where we're going to try to fit in uh, three different screens, depending on how many, many people are here. We're going to hand pull uh, three screens and try and get it where everybody gets to leave with a, a three color screen print. I've actually known Jay for a very long time, I think uh, about 20 years now. I just kept in contact with him and then we started the, the Primate Art League about five years ago and I've always been trying to figure out a way that I can work with Jay and this was a great opportunity to do that. The mission of the Primate Art League is to support emerging and practicing artists and one of the ways that we do that is by having workshops with companies like Blick and artists like Jay come together uh, to create workshops and give artists other outlets where they can display their craft uh, to people that are interested. Um, so this is a great example today of, uh, of folks that know Jay or maybe don't know Jay, but giving them an opportunity to come see him in person. Screen printing is uh, a really old printing process. There are a lot of ways to do it, um, a lot of different variables, um, basic ideas, ink passing through a screen, a mesh screen. It used to be made of silk, which is why it's called silk screen printing. In this particular case, using a stencil in the screen that's uh, chemical uh, photo emulsion. Uh, we're going to be hand pulling ink across the screen with a squeegee. Ink's going to go through in the shape of a film that I've cut up beforehand. And uh, so we're going to be layering ink on top of each other, on top of itself, and uh, making a picture of like a some sort of a cat riding a rabbit. They work on these blocks and these colors are normal acrylic thick colors which you can still pour. So it was a good experience to see and the result is fantastic. People appreciate seeing like, oh, there's blue, now it's got blue on the page, and oh, it's got red, and now there's red on the page, and oh my gosh, now they made purple, and, and then printing the, the outlines, which we call the key plate, uh, really ties the room together, as they say. And uh, it's, it's fun to kind of get that, see people like, have that light bulb moment where they see the key plate go down and all the outlines are on and suddenly, oh, it's a finished, finished image. Um, that's always fun to see.